Okay, Rocky Mountain Rider, and uh, got a hold of a used RT-622 trailer. Okay, got the uh, got the wire connection on there. It's got the uh, hookup kit. Uh, it's, look, uh, it's looking like it's in pretty good shape, so pretty pleased with it, but. I've attempted to change the barrel, the key barrel, and I got it in there, as shown on previous videos, but I think something is too tight, so I'm going to show you what it took in order for me to uh, get this out, get this done. So, so it looks like on the inside. The, uh, stuff that we're going to be going to have to remove two outside screws, two inside screws, three is four inside screws, and then it's uh, two push pins. So let's get this done. See? So going to have to fold back the carpet. Expect Velcro up underneath. Okay. I'm folding it back and then I'm going to fold it back out of my way. There's uh, screws down at the bottom. So, screws down at the bottom, fold the carpet back, use the Velcro to keep it out of your way, okay, and then uh, start removing your screws. Push pin. Okay, let's see some Lila. This is one of the cutest dogs we've had in a long time. The Lila is a female 
typical Boston Terrier mix. She has ten, but she does not have ten. She is full of fun, and she's got tons of great protein. So that's what you're working with. Two push pins, two small screws, they went on the bottom, two big screws, they went along the sides here, and then the two screws with the bushes go on the outside. Now, you gotta remove this plastic shell. After folding your carpet back, okay, slides in and slides out. Take it out to the side. Same thing with this one. Take it out. Move it away from the carpet. That's what we're working with. So, you can see this is a 2012, I mean 2010, and uh, some of the uh, adhesive has uh, worn away. So, it's not fitting like, like it looks like it should. So, we're going to work with it though. So again, got to take these screws off. Plate slides off, and for some reason, my lock is not working properly. So, again. These screws will have to come off. So those plate screws are smaller. The plate screws that go inside that plate are smaller than uh, the other ones. So in order to get this off, what I had to do to get this off.
was pretty much to slide it off. <laughs> and then wiggle it out. And to get this off, what I did was pretty much unsnapped. And slide off. Unsnap. And slide off. So we're going to take this back inside and see what's going on.